Welcome. We're going to be doing a special day here in the studio. Just hanging out, see what it's like a day in the creative process. We're going to be sitting down with Diego Bashevka. And we're going to be, uh, he should be here any minute. Diego! Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, we start? Oh, yeah, um, we yeah, start yeah, yeah come on in. Right. Hey. How's it going? Nice hey, to meet you. I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm okay. You're Diego, right? Yeah. All right. Good. I'm Diego Bashevkin. Diego. All right. Thanks for coming. I got a call from your... The producer? Producer. Oh. He said that he wanted wanted to work on some music together. Or okay. Initially, I was thinking we are going to work on some music. Oh, because I just put out a new album. Do you know that I put out a new album? I do. Okay. Okay, yeah. It's called uh, Dogma. Is that... I was right there on the screen. All right, so I would love to just basically just go through your album with you, track by track. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of great stuff. Yeah, and I would love to learn about the process, the creative process. Really? <laughs> That's good. Oh, I'd love to share it. I'm really happy to hear that. So the first one's called Hashem Sfasai. In general, most of these songs are written by other people, or some Correct. of them are written by you? Uh, two songs are written by me. Okay. Two and a half, actually. Okay. And... Uh, the rest is uh, from all different people. Okay, so let's listen to your first song, Hashem Sufasai. Yeah. So in general, like on this song, there's a lot of like Omar Adam-esque moaning and whimpering, <laughs> like especially on the chorus. Right? I mean, Omar Adam it's would go to David, town on that. That's like David, straight up IDF PTSD. No, no, no. no it's David, David Doerr. It's really David Doerr. That's, He's doing the vocals? No, that's the inspiration. Not Really? Yeah, really. I was, hearing, I was hearing Omar Adam. It's actually funny you mentioned this part because we actually wrote that. We got the... That's uh, Tzvi Blumenfeld who produced the album. Big shout out to Tzvi, by the way. Um, we were here actually right here in the studio and he said this... It needs a third part... What we had wasn't really coming together, and right here by this piano, it's actually right behind you. So, like, we can do a post chorus with that, like an open feel where it's like, um. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, uh, it's called the third part. A third part. Yeah. Okay. It's verse. Chorus one, two, and then third part. And by the way, who, who you said, Svi who produced Blumenfeld. Svi Blumenfeld. Yeah. Let's work on that third part. We came from. You're um, you're Svi Blumenfeld. Yeah. You make you made a couple of songs on his album for. Yeah, I produced the album. Okay, and thank I, I you. I did the the arrangement for the first song for the. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, the second part is: Did he pr did he produce any of your other albums or no? no. Okay. No, he's the, the keyboard player and band leader for Freilach Band. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've seen the Freilach yeah, Band. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So let's go to the next one. What was the next one called? A Cult Sahala. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's the that's the funky one. That's the bass. Yeah, that's the bass one. I'm just curious. You were going for like the dance, a dance track. Yeah. You wanted to be like a. Yeah. Is, is this considered Hora, you think? Yeah. Hora is like the main part of the wedding. Hmm. Am I, am I, is that true? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's a good question. Yeah, so I'm just curious because like, ho like you would think the style changes over time because right. like, I noticed, like I said, like a lot of weddings I see like the intro turned into like this cringe 20 minute like club music vibes and it's I like what, I don't know what that's about I really don't it's, it's really and like made by the Hassan's friend who downloaded songs from like Avicii right yeah that's it's kind of strange no it's kind of strange it's really weird I honestly whenever I'm at a wedding when the intro goes on I usually head out I'm like I'm not mm. I'm not ready to witness this cringe right yeah. people just start losing themselves I mean you see people jumping in the crowd where yeah. if you would just video them individually and show them the video after like this was you by the way the guy would never do it again, I guarantee yeah. you. Only by yeah, like, intro. By horror, people are right. more or less acting. By the intro music, people just start getting out of pocket real quick. Yeah. Like, you can't it's, be a one-person horror. That's true. Yeah, you got to have a, a, you know, it brings achtas. 
brings out the sun. Yeah. It brings out, I mean, it can't be done solo. You try to right. do a horror music. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. You need four people horror. at least for that spin, that spin clap advanced level horror. You could do horror. it with two you people. At least four. <laughs> you could do it with it's, two people. It's hard. It's very That's, hard. You're already it's going into like Baltimore territory. You get very dizzy. If you're doing that with two people. Too much clapping and kicking. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but my point yeah, especially is, especially if you do the you do the spin in the horror. Yeah. yeah, that's that's tough. My 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 point. The father and laws friends. They come in. They start. Yeah, they start pushing other people out of the circle. Yeah. My, for me, the worst part also at weddings, like you see, like that, like sixty or seventy something year old guy starts doing his push ups. Like we get it, man. That act that amazes me every time. It really? Because yeah. for me, I'm like, there's kids trying to juggle, dude. Grow up. You're like seventy. Okay, do three push-ups right. and go. The guy's like, no, no, hold on. I'm up to like 55. Who's counting? Like, no, dude, this is not about you. The guy's like sitting there like, yeah. he's like off all sore, having like half a heart attack afterwards. It's like, that's all it's called. All because you had to go show everybody your push-ups. You Get know, a YouTube channel, bro. I, I wish. I wish for myself that when I'm that age, you know, I can do at least one or two push-ups. And you're doing a lot of weddings, huh? Yeah. So you're seeing a lot of weird behavior. A lot of weird human behavior on a daily basis. This can't be healthy Here for you. Yeah, I, I talk to my therapist all the time about it. I, I would I would probably need a therapist on call if I was had yeah. to witness like the, the stuff like first of all the intros yeah. and yeah the, the Kate Sun Maractum is just Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. This is a very good this, yeah. this is I, I'd say this is like I mean, this is only the second song, but yeah. from listening to through it, I think this is definitely one of my favorite yeah, it's songs. It's way out there. This was uh, produced by Naor Karmi. Okay. From Sama fame. Okay. Sama. He's, you know, Sama in Israel, the, the, con the oh, yeah, disc yeah, slave, yeah, they yeah. do concerts. So he's the. He was the guy who just called you. Yeah, he just called, yeah. Yeah. He, call, he calls you on a daily basis like that? Uh, when we were working, he called me. I wouldn't answer, but he would call me. Really? Yeah. You know, just to show that, you know, just to really show him who I am. <laughs> oh, that you wouldn't answer. Yeah. Or why don't you just like pick up and like first put on the phone and then we'll talk. Did you put on the phone today, by the way? I, I got I have the phone right here. If you need. No, I did. You did? I did. Yeah. Oh. No, we're in Lakewood. It's pretty much like a haven oh. for the phone. There's like a lot okay. of people who put on the phone. Oh yeah. So yeah. Nice. Okay. With a name like Diego, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, it's cool. Racial profiling it's is very, cool. But it's always that's, important to ask. No, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So how you, I just want to check and see how you're feeling so far. Is this interview is going well. It's going well for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going okay. Okay. Yeah, I just, you know, it's a free country. I do mean, I, you're not forced to. Do know, I look? Be, do I look I like I'm not okay? No, you look fine. I just, you know, sometimes. I mean, if you want, we can go all like Jakob Linger and start talking about like anxiety. We can do that. That's kind of triggery for me. So let's let's continue with this one. Yeah. Let, all right. let, you want to just make it a dollar? <laughs> It's a really special song. Really special. So why? T tell me about it. Tell me about this song. What what makes this one more special? You know what's funny? Want to hear something funny? Yeah. I was listening to uh, you know I have like a music player on my phone. It just plays whatever MP3s are on my phone. Okay. You know it could be from WhatsApp. And I come across this song, and I have no idea where it came from. I mean, people send you songs? Yeah, I had this demo, and I recognize the voice, Titsy Berry, and. I sent him the song. And I'm like, is this you? He's like, is this your song? He's like, yeah, it's my song. I'm like, I really like this song. So, Mir Hashem, one day when I do an album, I would like to, if the song's still available, Baruch Hashem, a few months later, it was available. And That's here it is. Crazy. Here it is. True so, story. But who sent it to you? It was on your I WhatsApp? Don't know. I don't even know. I mean, it was like a random number? I couldn't even find the, the WhatsApp chat Oh, I mean, it was a file. It was, I mean, it was, it was a, a file. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it. That's really cool. Because I had a similar thing where I sent songs to singers before and I didn't get any like s friendly reactions back actually. Uh, like, kind of, kind of like rude. No, and the funny thing is they didn't like, recognize the voice. They didn't recognize and then afterwards, no. I got played a song or two for you that I made. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. Um, that's really why I'm doing this whole thing. Because okay. I'm hoping like if I just become friends and say nice things to singers and maybe they're going like, to kind of see me in a different light. Sure. Yeah, that's a great way. Nice cufflinks, by the way. Oh, thank you. All these songs are so good. When you do that Thumpkin album, this song should be on it. Is this like a Middle Eastern sound? Yeah, it's like a blend of Spanish, Middle Eastern. I'm Spanish, Middle Eastern, by the way. No, really. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. 
but now this is like heavy Chabad. Like I smell the vodka on this one. Ah. You can smell. It's kind of it's very stereotypical to associate Chabad I I with vodka. I smell the vodka breath on uh-huh. this one. I'm not gonna lie. Fabrengen mode. Uh, uh, Fabrengen, I'll take. Late night Fabrengen. Yeah. Mm. Tortilla yeah. chips and vodka. It's um, Fabrengen salad. Some. You know what Fabrengen salad is? No, it's no, a, it's actually onions, tomatoes. With olive oil. Oh my god. Yeah, it's. Yeah, no. I'll pass. I'll put on film, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's, re- it's reminding me of something or something. I can't, I can't put it. Please. Mm. It will come to you. It will come to you. I want to hear the chorus on this. It's Yiddish. Speak Yiddish. Yeah, you know, we'll get it. Enough, yeah. By the way, I don't, I don't mean to keep bringing your family into this, but I hear like Benny Freeman. Really? On that. On that. Huh. Meaning that cadence on the, I can't say those words that fast, but the right. way, the mm. way it's like rolling off the. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I worked hard on that. So far, you, music videos. You did music videos? Uh, Not yet, right? I haven't done music video yet. Uh, you have any suggestions? Yeah. I think you like stand by like pretty much any body of water. Okay. Just wear a scarf, All right. but no coat. Okay. Just like have it blowing in the wind. Nice. It's just like a montage of that. It's like a bunch of shots like that. Nice. That's a that's a total. You know, I think it would be fresh. It'd be something million, like different. Yeah, I get a million views in like a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's just something a little bit that nobody else did before. I think. That's great. That's that's great. It's brilliant. You also like have to like film it in like a glasses store, like an obvious sponsor, mm. like something that you wouldn't like. Like oh, eyes on the avenue. Like we're in evergreen now. Hmm. Just randomly, like we, we like we decided to film it in here. That's great. That's There's no sponsorship yeah. involved. Wow. We should. Do, are you available for like, uh, you know, for um, consult? Like yeah, for consulting. I do direct music videos. That's one oh, of the yeah? things I do. Yeah. Oh okay. All right. I'll, I'll have my people reach out to. Uh, or you could just be normal. Like we could talk to each other. Oh okay. Like we're sitting right, right here. All right. You get, I just get what you, my what, number. What do you? What's your fee? What do you charge for like just for consulting, not so for yeah, a production? I, yeah, no, sure, I'll tell you. You can reach out to my people for that. Let's go to Doug. Let's go to Doug. <laughs> right, let's go to Doug. This is the. Why did you decide to put this as your main? Like this is you chose that the album name Dugma. Why? It's just a, it's why the song? Wild word. It's just like. Sounds like an IPA beer, like Dugma or something. Yeah, you know, craft. Yeah, craft. You into craft beer? No. No. Okay. I'm I'm not into craft beer, but mm-hmm. I could kind of see that if there would be like a Chabad guy who makes craft beer in Crown Heights, right. it would be called Dugma. Dugma, but Dugma is great. It's just a fun fun word. Dugma. It's got the G in it. G, you know, Dugma. Okay, so let's let's yeah, let's right. just get let's into move on it. to Dugma. Can I, can I just who 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 came up with that? I thought Avicii died like a few years ago. What are you trying to say? That I stole this from like Gaish music? Hey. Need something? You're Ali, uh, you're Ali Marcus. Uh huh. Eighth 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 day's brother. Eighth day's brother. That's right. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. <laughs> 